Hello, Scorpios. How are ya? <laughs> I hope that everybody is doing fine. Scorpios, we're going to jump right into a no contact read for you and see what you got tonight. I know the videos are like very, very less, but it was a lot going on today. Um, but anyways, I figured I'm just going to upload a video for you. All right. This is a person that you're thinking about, the person that's on your mind. All right. This person that's thinking about you as well. Let's see the energy. All right, let's see here. Everything is in a description if you want a personal with me. Also, if you guys are having a call in and you want to learn tarot, all that information is in below as well. For Scorpio. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father, Holy Guides, remove anything that is of the negative of the darkness and replace it with light for Scorpios. All right, so let's see. Happy, wonderful day, Scorps. <laughs> Hope everybody is doing well. Six of Cups in reverse. Let's see what this is. No communication. And that's being confirmed right off the bat. But for those of you who want to work something out with this person, there's going to be some form of opportunity because I'm seeing like it is not finalized. Like there's something here still that you guys need to learn from each other. Um, there's a faded connection here as well. Six of Cups, even though it's in reverse. The Ten of, I'm sorry, the Ten card. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune, the number ten. Okay, a lot of you are feeling hopeless or feel like you want to give up with the strength here, frustration, you know, not being able to go to the next level with the 10 with this person, knowing that you could, knowing that you can taste it, knowing that it's around the corner and you can have this. This is what I'm hearing with this energy right here. And there's no communication. This person is acting very stubborn within the strength energy but i'm also seeing a lot of loss here between you and this person look at this there's this future vibes as well that's coming out here so this 10 energy this um oh, what am i saying there's 10 energy hmm this ace of pentacles energy this foundation some of you could have been married to this person or went through some kind of divorce Yeah, there's like coming back, making the first move, you know, showing some kind of appreciation towards you, wanting to solve this five of pentacles with you as well. Scorpios, tell me more. Wow, look at this high priestess. They're looking at you as very strong and spiritual. Like you see them coming, like you know they're going to come back as well. Leo energy is coming out twice, you guys. You have Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Cancer. Tell me more. There's also a wall up here. Like, you don't trust this person with your heart. I'm just getting like this person did something within the six. Like, you really, you're crazy about this person, but they did something you with, with your heart within the six. Like, they betrayed you. Um... They made you look sideways, you know, at them now. Like if you weren't shady with them before, you are definitely acting shady right now. Um, we have the Ten of Swords here. We also have the Six. So you put everything within this person's energy. And it's like they bit the hands that fed them. Because I'm seeing like there's like this karmic vibe as well. Like they're losing everything here. <sighs> Let's see. There's also this letting go of forgiveness, like not holding on to this mental and physical agony that you've been through, but there's still a wall. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Holy Father. All right, so you have the Three of Swords. Oh, the three of Swords. Three. Y'all, I'm just call, like really calling out different things. I don't know. The Three of Wands. <laughs> Three of Wands. Yeah, this person is watching you from afar. This person is 
acting like they're far away from you and this could be time as well this doesn't have to be distance this could be time but i'm seeing like you got mutual friends or family members that still talk and there's some kind of going out or there's going to be a celebration very soon and this person is going to go there like i'm seeing some kind of event that this person is going to it's like they're planning because they're watching you from afar but there is something that's coming up you guys the three and three together here in the upright Ooh, the 10 yep something about family some of you might have um a child together or family ties together look at that you have the 10 you have the three like there's going to be some kind of party or event that you're going to see this person again this is where you're going to see this person all right the temperance is also coming out here patience the seven of wands in reverse the nine of swords so this person has lost all control <laughs> this is what i'm getting it's like they're supposed to be you know open and upfront, but there was something that they were hiding and i'm seeing like with time like the angels were saying with time you know it's gonna come to light here i'm also seeing like the nine of swords also in reverse so the ten the nine there was a lot of anxiety, stress, depression, worry, mental agony, physical agony with this one. This could be an abusive relationship as well. Oh my goodness, y'all. But I'm seeing a lot of letting go and forgiveness. Tell me more. I'm seeing security coming back in. Something to do with this 10. Like, this is important. No matter what, this 10 has to remain healthy. I'm also seeing the two of pentacles, four of swords. There's a break between you and this person. There's a security. There's a huge force of security that is coming towards you in this person. But I just feel like there's also this break here because this person seemed to be going back and forth with you. But I'm seeing like they're coming towards you. But your energy have shifted. Like you might not be interested in this person anymore. So I'm seeing Sag energy too, you guys. I'm seeing a lot of fire-based energy. Look at this. Leo, Sag. Okay. It's coming out here. Then you have this Knight of Wands, King of Wands. Well, well Queen of Wands energy. A lot of fire energy here act like they all that that's what i'm getting <laughs> somebody's acting like they're all that and then they're stubborn on top of it like they want to solve this they want to have a future but they're scared they're holding back they're afraid they're not making any true movements here they're taking their time with that temperance see it's like for some of you this person could be choosing themselves or healing or going through some form of healing me more look at that hangman energy you guys this person is holding back tell me more and no sacrifice no sacrifice Aries <laughs> Aries Sag Leo also Libra all right, so this person is definitely someone that is just watching and waiting. And you know what I'm getting? I'm seeing like they're trying to figure this thing out, like how to get back to you. But I feel like within this energy, I'm going to be honest, it seems like a friend or a family member of yours or theirs are going to bring you guys together within this space. But I'm also seeing that this person is acting like they don't want this. Like, you know, and that's like the vibe. Like, it's just crazy they're acting like they're not going to chase you they're acting like you're going to have to sacrifice you're going to have to change like i'm not seeing any true compromise here i'm also seeing a mistake that was made here that they decided they decided to do this and the angel saw this and there's also some kind of karmic energy within the judgment being here 
that is decided. Look at this, eight, three, and eight again. Eight of swords, eight of pentacles, three of swords in reverse. So something about a past tense relationship, something that happened, something that was very hurtful for those of you. This is what I'm getting. Like this person hurt you, like this person cheated on you, like this person you had to heal from. I'm also seeing some kind of lies here, a lot of lies keeping you restricted, trapped. This is what I'm seeing here, keeping you blindfolded, making you look like a fool here, okay? <laughs> Why am I hearing that you were taken up for this person, didn't know the facts with other people? <sighs> they dried you out. But I'm seeing like there's some kind of making preparations. This person could have a new job or some kind of move or change that this person is going through right now. Tell me more. And I feel like they want you to know or be a part of this. Yeah, five of swords. <laughs> there was a lot of, you know, embarrassment here and stabbing in the back energy tell me more holy spirit holy angels holy father Ooh, cards are just showing up look at that scorpio Ooh, okay so we have the two of cups here the devil the, the ace of wands so scorpio in reverse they're saying that you guys are not moving on Like there's this energy of not moving on. There's this too as well. Like you're going to have to make a choice because I'm seeing like you both feel, have mutual feelings towards each other. But this person is very prideful. Like I'm just seeing y'all like this person though. <laughs> doesn't matter if they love you or not or if they feel the same way. They're going to do this in secret. They're going to, you know, be in their feelings in secret. They're not going to let you see it. I feel like they're trying to protect themselves. <laughs> And this could be, you know, the cause of the relationship going south or the connection not moving forward because this person have a tendency to say that they care about you, they love you, mutual feelings here, but then this person disappears. There's also a third party that this person is sleeping with still. This person is coming up in the present moment. This is the trial and tribulations that you guys are going through. You are exhausted. This person is a player. Tell me more. Wow, Ten of Cups. They do want something in the future. But this person right now, they're going through a lot of self-reflection, a lot of addiction, a lot of toxic environment, what they have seen. They're kind of trying to balance the two. Look at this Ten and look at this Devil right next to each other, like within this Knight of Swords, coming in like real player vibes like real energizer or bunny kind of vibe like like it's me let me in kind of energy i'm seeing like that person wants a commitment but one day and i'm seeing like there's two different people here gemini energy too you you have you could have gemini in your chart or your rising sign could be Gemini or um, your moon. Okay. But again, stubbornness is coming up. Stubbornness is coming up so bad with this person. It is crazy. <laughs> I'm seeing some form of immaturity. Okay. <clears throat> wow. Messages, messages. So this person is going to express their feelings. Yeah, look at that. Express their feelings for you. Express their love for you. Coming home towards you. Choosing you out of the, th the third party. But that doesn't mean that they want to settle down. You're just that important person in their lives. <laughs> And I'm saying that because I don't want no one to be like, oh my God, I'm confused <laughs> on the reading. Okay. I'm seeing like they have a lot of love here. 
they want you to know that you're like look at that look at this <laughs> ace of cups like you're that number one you're that ace for them but they're fighting their demons this is what i'm getting this person is fighting a lot of demons you're dealing with someone that been dealing with drugs sexual addiction um dealing with you know, toxic vibrations toxic energies around them toxic family members brothers or sisters mothers or fathers i mean it goes on and on okay they could be helping their mother that has a, a drug addiction or their father that have a drug addiction and this is very toxic for them this put a lot of unpleasant pictures within their mind in childhood things that they just don't talk about things that they keep secret you know they could be been sitting like seeing their family hit people all their lives and this is how a relationship supposed to look like because i'm seeing mental and physical agony here here a lot of stress a lot of anxiety a lot of fear okay that is being released here or forgiven within this energy within this space wow yeah i just feel like this person looks at you as a temperance this person looks at you as someone that is deserves better i'm seeing like some kind of spiritual um shift that is also happening for you and this person so the angels are be working behind the scenes this person definitely wants to come back Aries, scorpio energy power struggle for those of you that is also coming back here up again like a lot of Aries, a lot of fire sign okay scorpio you could be fire too um you know you've jumped in and out back into water back into fire when you feel like it i feel like the earlier scorpios do a lot of fire more than the later scorpios like they have a lot of stuff well they're stubborn you know scorpios are stubborn i'm a scorpio so <laughs> but i'm just seeing that there is a lot of um what is it masculine energy masculine vibes here within this tower energy oh, i'm just seeing like there is like a lot of bumping heads not being able to vibrate the same energy here with each other but behind the scenes your angel guides are working because they know what this is and then you're showing up as an older soul too that you're supposed to be teaching this person tell me about this devil energy Ooh, the three of pen oh something else is someone three of pentacles yeah there's a lesson here that you guys are supposed to learn together that is that hasn't been learned that's why the wheel of fortune is in the upright you guys look at that you have two fives here that's showing up right here <sighs> a lot of fives a lot of things that you guys have signed up for are conflicts struggles competitions here something to do like other people to get involved in your relationships as well to make it very hard for you guys emotional distress loss you know oh my gosh a lot of you know self-esteem issues as well because this person made you feel abandoned or it could be just your family or this person's family i should say because this is their energy right here within the devil But I'm also seeing like this person wants to start again, like they wish they can start over a fresh start. Let me just tap into this person's energy. Interesting, 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 interesting. I like that. All right. So let's just see. Cards are like, oop, something fell on the floor. I swear I fell something. Thank you, angels. Thank you guys for being here. For Scorpio okay i'm feeling like we need to tap into this though one thing is giving me vibes okay what is the energy for scorpio one at a time thank you <clears throat> what is the energy for scorpio The energy for Scorpio. Thank you. Okay, so let's see what we have for you. What's the energy for Scorpio? Okay, so let's see. 
all right so you have you made me this way somebody is pissed you made me this way so they're pointing out there's a lot of things that happen in this relationship that it wasn't always butterflies and candy okay i apologize to you and our family so you guys have a family together so that's what the ten of pentacles is about family ties y'all and they embarrassed you they embarrassed the family <sighs> a lot of you were married or something or still married i can't do this anymore so frustration is also coming out tell me more <laughs> it says right here oh somebody's jealous everyone i know wants you jealous well i put what's but it's what's okay so everyone i know wants you and this person is jealous of you dot 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 okay and then this says this was a burden for me to carry so the ten of wands is correct this was a burden relationship this person had a lot of trials and tri tribulations a lot of baggage okay and you try to make a life with this person and the burden is still there nothing has changed with that burden tell me more all right so this one says no emotions at all so this person is cold as ice <laughs> this person is cold gemini aquarius libra your divine hears you so a lot of you are being called to spirit okay or you're praying this is what i'm hearing like you're praying for this person like you're planting positive seeds like you're praying for strength like you're praying for yourself and you're being heard even though for those of you you feel like you're alone you feel like you're not being heard but the angels want you to know that the divine god heard you you have a lot of enemies as well so people that don't want you guys together is also coming out here like in why am i hearing that those of you who think that these people they like you think that these people want you to be together like you think that these people have your back but the truth is they're the truth cross or the true root of the problem the true root of the problem tell me more okay let's see it says planning a future with you a legacy planning a future with you a legacy so this person is pointing out that you guys had a lot of things planned a lot of things that you were working on a lot of things that was created like the ten of pentacles okay a lot of you have children or money lined up together or houses bank accounts i'm still here i'm okay don't worry about me this right here sounds to me like you know it seems like scorpio a lot of you are moving on and this person is very shady it's like i'm still here <laughs> like their feelings are still the same i'm okay like you haven't checked on them you haven't talked to them you seem like you don't care anymore don't worry about me do you you know kind of like shady kind of vibe but they really want you to check on them <laughs> that energy this is so childish i want to keep this love alive this passion is full of love i want to keep this love alive this passion is full of love your sign y'all not your sign um fire sign Aries, leo or sag passion love scorpio cancer pisces Ooh. they're saying they want to keep this love water-based emotion alive the passion is full of love so this has got to be water-based and air together Ooh, lord look at that cards just slipped out of my hands y'all okay <laughs> Ooh, okay when that happens i feel like the angels be getting so excited <laughs> can't wait for me to shut up <laughs> they want me to shuffle and get these messages up but that's way too much i'm not gonna even pick that up all right we're just gonna do one more shuffle thank you holy spirit okay so one more shuffle 
Scorpio. Let's see. Energy. What's one more? Ooh, long lasting victory for those of you. Long lasting victory, the number six. A lot of you are at your six vibes. A, long, a, lot, a lot of you are living your contracts. You're on the right path. Okay, you don't feel like you do. Are you on the right path? But the angels are saying like you're fine. You don't need help for some of you, but you really feel like you do. Like there will come in when they feel like you do. They will let you know when you're on the right, the wrong path. Look at that. I want to undo this tower between us. This one says, how can you say the things you said about me off? Oh, I, you know what I'm getting here, y'all? There's no communication between you and this person. It's like there's just a lot of talk. Other people are involved here. This is all over the place. Nobody is really going to the source. Tell me more about this person's energy when it comes to Scorpio. When it comes to Scorpio, what's this person feelings towards Scorpio? What do they want Scorpio to know? What would they like Scorpio to know, please? Thank you. Ooh. Scorpios to know. Ooh, look at that. That they're coming back. They made the mistake within the moon. The Ace of Swords is here. They learn from their mistake. They they understand. And they want to come back within the tower. They want to rebuild Aries, Scorpio, Pisces. A lot of emotions here, hidden emotions. They're not trying to show their emotions to you for some reason. This person is not high on emotions, but I did see like earlier, like there is going to be like letting you know because, and I feel like this is like, I was getting that one. So it's like a one in a lifetime. I don't know, like this person is giving me the vibe, like they don't open up a lot. And they're letting you know for that purpose, like something to do with that because they don't do it a lot and they know that when they do it, you're going to be shook about that. <laughs> but another ace here, a, a huge force of energy again, fast paced movement, attraction, passion, like this person does not want this to end between you and them. They have some kind of decision to make. Remember, there was a third party situation here. Okay, they feel like they're going to have to break this bridge. They really appreciate you and need you and like your creativity. I'm seeing an apology here, but I'm seeing like this can probably came too late because they're saying that it's too late with this uh, star in reverse. There's a, a energy of you losing faith or they're losing faith within this connection. <clears throat> Aquarius energy. For those of you that are with an Aquarius, so tell me more. Ooh, oh, they still need more time. Hold on, hold on. This five, this five right here. This five of swords right here is actually showing up in the upright. I don't like that. Like there's still some kind of deceit, lies, and betrayal that is coming up on the surface. It's still in the present moment. So is this 10? Like there's a lot of things that need to be talked about, need to be closed. Especially this, the five that they did to you and felt like, you know, it was okay. Like they were very cold energy. This is why they're coming in um, expressing their feelings towards you. This person lied to you here, but they're going to give you a choice to make. They're still going back and forth, you guys, with that third party. So they're still juggling. <laughs> they want you to choose this life, okay? They want you to choose this life. This could be you, Scorpios, with this lovers, or it could be somebody else. But I'm seeing that this happened very quickly within the lovers. This was very passionate. This was very, like hot and heavy multiple partnerships here and they didn't have no time for you wow 
So I'm getting like they they <sighs> yo, they have a lot to work on because I'm seeing a lot of fives. I'm seeing like this one, this one that's coming out so far for them. And they're all in the upright, so they're present. Like these are things that what happened within your relationship. Very cold energy within the home for those of you lived together. Walking around eggshells, this person using you. You one moment you feel like, oh my god. This is going to work. The next moment, this person left, left you. Next, per next time, it just feels like back at square one. Like, what happened? This person is attracted to, to you, but I'm just seeing like there's a lot of lies here. This could be about a baby. Somebody got pregnant or because <sighs> I'm seeing like there's some kind of new life also with that ace and this person is lying about that okay you have the ten of cups ten of pentacles <clears throat> tell me more no communication then what is happening here like i'm just getting like this person is not making the moves here like they're being brought to you I feel like this person wants to move on. Look at that, you know, the 10, the tower. But there's a lot of negative energy here within the magician, Virgo, Gemini, for those of you. This person did so much damage in the five. Like, it's like very hard for you to even think that this person still like really like you or love you. Like for those of you, you're like, look, I don't want their love. <laughs> they can keep it. Because their love, look at that, another five. This is what you guys signed up for, the this life, this path. You know, because I believe lives are pre-planned, you guys. So you have the five here. You have the five here. You have another five. So a lot of you are here to experience tug and war. This could be fighting as well. Okay, a lot of money issues, a lot of coldness, a lot of hardships, a lot of things on your back, your shoulders, you doing things on your own, finding your independent. Okay, this person betraying you. Okay, people that are closest to you often betrays you. People that you at least expect to betray you betray you. Okay, and this is like the fives that you are here to experience within life. All right, so. Let's see. We're going to end it right here because this is already late and it's going to be, I don't want to be too long to get uploaded. So we have the six, we have the death and we have the queen of cups. Hmm. Interesting. Cancer energy, Scorpio energy. I'm seeing you moving on. <laughs> Scorpio, this person is giving me the six of wands. Like, they're watching your success. They're saying that you're moving on. Like, you have not looked back. Like, you are so ready for love. Like, you are so ready for love. Tell me more. Tell me more with this Queen of Cups energy. Ooh, you are so emotional, too. Because you're pointing out is they're the Queen of Cups. Ooh, they're saying the nine, the nine of Pentacles in reverse. Wow, so they watch you from losing everything to gaining everything. Like you look so like before you you were very codependent. You were very um like you lost your identity, you lost who you were, you were focused on them. This is what I'm seeing here. And then suddenly they watch you bloom into a masculine, into someone that is a, a boss. <laughs> okay? Yeah, you moved on in the five of uh, cups here. You let this person go because of sadness. Because of sadness. Sadness was your success. <sighs> this is what I have, you guys. I hope that this resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, Scorps. And don't forget to like the video here on the YT. Don't just watch it, you guys, because it really does help. And thank you so much for those of you who have been liking the video. I see the likes going up. Continue to make it go up, you guys, because without the likes, the, this channel won't be anything. And I like what I do, and I like sharing my my gift with you guys. So, and I hope you guys appreciate it because it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Sometimes you just want to take a break for like a whole month, but really, you can't do that. You can't do that. So, 
you know, I do appreciate every one of you and thank you again for all your love and support. Bye guys.